My name is John Whitterick uh, and I have a website called getoutofdebtfree.org and uh, basically what we do, we help people uh, realise that the whole banking system is basically fraudulent and we offer them the tools to actually challenge a banking system and basically get themselves out of this fictitious debt. The services we offer are, uh, we offer template letters we also offer little, I mean, start off with, if you're working with debt collectors, if you're dealing with debt collectors, uh, we've actually got a very simple way of dealing with them, which is uh, basically a you know, addressee not recognised return to sender, uh, because uh, it will always have your name either in uh, uppercase letters or it will have a title called Mr or Mrs. And you can say, well, hang on, that's not me, I'm not the title. I don't spell my name in uppercase letters, so the addressee is not recognised. So that's one way. Uh, the other way we deal with uh, uh, the bank, banking system or debt collectors is basically say, well, where did the money come from uh, and have I got a valid contract with you? And if I haven't, and if you can't prove that I have, then uh, we are agreed to the following terms. And we send out a series of letters about 10 days apart. So, uh, uh, but it's you know it tends to prove to be very successful what it was uh, I used the method myself uh, quite a few years ago and was astounded how easily uh, that actually these companies just gave up and so all I did I got a website together and actually shared this information getoutofdebtfree.org is a site that has been set up to help people dealing with the agony of debt and the template letters just need you to adjust a few details and they're ready to go. Get Out of Debt Free has already helped thousands of people to get out of debt and the combined amount of money saved so far is over 12 million pounds. And that's just from the people who have reported their success to the site. The forum is a large part of the site and is broken down into different sections such as bailiffs, debt collectors, credit card companies, etc. It is full of people who will fall over themselves to help you and with a wealth of knowledge and experience who will make sure you are not alone. So the important thing is that you have to keep hitting the ball back in the net. Uh, what you're doing, whatever they send you, you have to reply to it and send it back. Now after you've sent them the three letters, also what's included in the letters are a fee schedule. And the fee schedule says, well, look, every time you send me a letter, uh, you know, if we can't agree, you know, if you can't prove that I owe you anything, then we're going to agree to the following terms. And, you know, you don't call me anymore. And if you do, it's going to cost you this much. And every time I have to write a letter to you, it's going to cost you this much. So what you do, you send them the fee schedule. And of course, if they do send you anything or contact you, you then start totting it up. And after a while, what you do, you send them an invoice. And uh, if they don't pay the invoice, you can then get onto the uh, small claims court online and actually start you know, pursuing them for the money. So, you know, what you've got to think is the only power they have over us is fear. Now, when the fear goes and you start challenging them, you know, do, do you think they really want to like, deal with you if you're going to be invoicing? When well, there's all these people go, oh, like I was, really nervous, and they're going, all oh, right, well, I should owe them some money to get to the stage. Right? No, hang on, mate. You, you've actually sent me three letters. I actually charge five hundred pounds a letter now. That's fifteen hundred quid plus the two phone calls at hundred pounds. So that, yeah, we're up to about eighteen hundred quid. So uh, yeah, basically, when are you going to pay? How are you going to pay? Now, one of the things that um, that people often miss when uh, when the debt collectors come knocking, is that these debt collectors have actually paid off your, your debt. They've bought your debt. Um, often for, you know, pennies on the pound. So if, you've, if you apparently owe a thousand pounds, yeah, they've, they've probably paid a, a tenner for it. Um, so, but the, the point is, they've paid off your, your debt. So, you know, thank you very much, you know. Um, did I did I actually make, go into contract with you to say that I'd pay you back for, for that? You know, you should have probably asked me first before you went around paying off my debt for me, you know. Uh, so wh where's the fear in that, you know? The, these guys rely on, on, on fear to, to, you know, to make you pay up. 
Um, if you realise that they've got no power over you, and in fact they've paid off your debt, thank you very much, you know, where's the fear? All you're asking from them is an invoice for the amount they say you owe, yeah. and nothing comes back. Well, they can't, they can't supply. What we're asking for, they can't supply. And we know they can't supply that. But uh, we, we ask mm. for a, a contract. Uh, I mean, we, we also use contract law because that mm -hmm. goes back years. Uh, and it's how we, we would deal with each other. Mm -hmm. But we say, you know, can you give us a copy of the contract signed by both parties? Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, on loans you'll get a little squiggle, but no mm -hmm. name against it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, because they are a fictitious entity mm -hmm. and we are a, a living, breathing soul, mm -hmm. we cannot contract under contract law with a with fictitious entity. So it's got to be equal to equal, really. It has. Yeah. That's what and, the and that uh, contract, is, that's what contract law says, yeah. Debt Free TV, in association with getoutofdebtfree.org.